Today, I'm going to be sharing you about the chapter 16, the absorption system, the principle of obligations. The absorption system is different from the compression system. It uses a heat up energy instead of a mechanical to make a change in the conditions necessary to complete a refrigeration cycle. The absorption cycle may use a natural gas, low pressure gas like kerosene, steam, or an electric heating element as a source of a heat. The system has few moving parts. Smaller units have a moving parts only in the heat sources valve and control which are used. Some larger units also use the circulating pump and fans. Uh, absorption systems using operated quickly quality. They are used in commercial installations and the domestic installation as well. So in recent years, absorption unit have been widely used in the recreations vessel. This means RV, like a canvas, trailers, and boat. The fact that an absorption unit can be operated from a small units of a small gas cylinder has increased its use in portable refrigerator. 16-1, the absorption system. The condensers, receiver, and the evaporator cooling coil are quite similar to those used in the compression system. The compressor has been replaced by the heater and generator. The system show here have been simplified by leaving out various control. This will be covered later. Figure system by one so you may see that in the illustrated the basis absorption system where your liquid absorbent types and the unit use a water cool condensers. So, figure 16.1 assembly liquid absorbent refrigeration unit. A, a is a generator, B is a condenser, C is a receiver, D is a evaporator, E is a banner, F is water, and uh, G is a water out, and check for the H. So, that uh, have a look in figure system 1. 2 is an elementary solid absorbent refrigeration unit. Noted this is a water cool condenser, not a air cool condenser. So, that 16 2 type of absorption system. The absorption system are based on the several combinations of substance which have an unusual property. One substance will absorb the other without any chemical actions taking place. So it will absorb the all those substances when cool and release it when heated. So if the substance is a solid, the process is a sometimes called absorption. So if the substance is a liquid, the process is called absorbing. So absorption and absorption is quite different. So there are two types of the absorption refrigerator. Uh, one uses a solid absorbent material. The other is using a liquid absorbent. So absorption systems are further classified as intermediate system, number one. Number two is a continuous system. So have a look into the next page. The absorption system have had several applications, the domestic recreation device and the uh, industrial air conditioning uh, absorption system are also identified by the heat sources, kerosene, natural gas, steams, electric heater, and solar, solar energy as well. So, some absorption units are used in family trailer and mobile homes, may be heated either uh, electrically or by low pressure fuel and uh, liquefied petroleum fuel. Fuel. This is some of the explained in this chapter. Searching uh, dash three principle of the solid absorption system. The solid absorption system is operated on principle discovered by Michael Faraday in, in 1824. Through the experiment, he succeeds in liquefying the ammonia, which scientists has been the lively live to our face gases. So this is to say, it was considered impossible to change to uh, either a solid or a liquid. He exposed the ammonia vapor to silver chloride, a powder. When the silver chloride has taken all the vapor it could absorb, he applied heat and got a liquid but when the heat was removed he discovered that the liquid soon began to boil so vaporize and draw heat from its surrounding so the present day absorption system use this same phenomenon 
So for this experiment is described in chapter 3 and figure 3, 32, 21. So that, so have a look in the uh, system that's for principle of the continuous absorption system. So for a day, a lot according by this uh, absorption system is used ammonia, water, and hydrogen. One is provides refrigeration constantly. It is called a continuous uh, absorption system. A continuous refrigerating cycle operates automatically through the use of automated control. Although and many companies have variation of a basis basic systems. The principle of operations remain the same. Remain the same. So when the banner is lighted and its heat applied to the generator at one in Figure 16-3. Please have a look to 16-3. Alcohol continuous refrigeration cycle. Noted water circuit. Ammonia flow and hydrogen circuit. So ammonia vapor is released from the solution. This hot vapor passes upward through the per, uh, percolator, percolator tube. Sorry, the percolator tube at number two. You may see the figure 16-3, number two. As the hot ammonia vapor rises through this tube, it carries the solutions to the up level of a, a spreader at number three. So see the figure 16-3. So most of the liquid solutions settle in the border of the separators and flow into the absorber. So the hot ammonia vapor being light rises to the top of the tube magnet of number four into the condenser. The hot ammonia vapor then condenser or into a liquid. The ammonia is now in the pure state and it's flow by gravity into the evaporator. So because a liquid will always seek its own level. So the liquid ammonia flows through the liquid ammonia tubes and split it into the evaporator. So that is formed in large shallow pools on a series of horizontal buffer plates. So the hydrogen gases this that is uh, being fed to the evaporator in large quantities permit uh, the liquid ammonia to evaporate at a low pressure at uh, and at a low temperature Dalton's principle this is the Dalton laws of pressure so and then the, during this process of evaporation the ammonia absorbs the heat from the food compartment of a refrigerator and causes the water in this ice cube container to freeze the more hydrogen and less ammonia the low the lower temperature the temperatures and the evaporated ammonia mix with a hydrogen gases meanwhile a weak solution of ammonia and the water is flowing by the gravity from the sprayer at number three down to the top of the absorber here it's make the mixture of uh, hydrogen gas and ammonia vapor coming from the this uh, evaporator the weak and the fairly uh, close uh, cool solutions uh, absorbed of the ammonia vapor the hydrogen gas is lava uh, free since hydrogen will not mix with the water the, because the hydrogen is very light it is now it now so rises to the top of a uh, absorber and return to the evaporator being alcohol the absorber has thin the cooling of the weak solution helps it to reabsorb reabsorb the ammonia gas out of the matrix of ammonia vapor and hydrogen gas as the weak water solution reabsorb the ammonia vapor considerable heat is liberated the air cool fins remove this heat to permit the refrigeration to continue. The ammonia liquid and the water matrix flow back to the generators where it again starts to the cycle. The operators of a widely assembly see the figure 16 3, so there are no moving the part to wear out of get out of uh, adjustments since the total pressures throughout the cycle is about 400 psi at the room ambient temperature of 100 degree fahrenheit and 38 degree celsius so construction must be regulated to ensure a long life
to re to produce a temperature of zero degree for high means negative 18 degrees Celsius in the evaporator the ammonia must boil at 15.7 psi which means that the hydrogen must make up in the remainder of a pressure 384.3 psi if the total pressure is 100 psi and this refrigerator is uh, considered to you be uh, to be a unique among domestic refrigerator this is what i explained to everyone the absorption system and prisma of the application and done by the for my authority thank you very much for your uh, how to say that this is uh, for your learnings uh, if you like this video please like and subscribe my channel thank you very much and have a nice day